Yes! All right. So, I apologize in advance if today's broadcast is a little bit shaky. Um, I am working on a severely <laughs> limited machine, and um, we'll hope to get back up to 100% soon. But, for now, um, what are we doing? We're looking at Adafruit's Edge Badge that I got at Supercon a couple of weeks ago, and it's incredibly exciting because you can run... TensorFlow models on a SAMD51 Atmel chip, which is a microcontroller. That's ridiculous. Um, let's take a quick look. Yes, the camera on this thing does not want to focus. But, um, interesting. What it's doing right now is running a little model where it can tell if you're saying yes <laughs> or no. No. Feels like talking to a pet dog or something. No! Bad dog. <laughs> Bad robot. <laughs> oh, I need to make a little little dog robot now. Oh, that'd be adorable! <sighs> okay. Um, too many ideas. So, partly I wanted to get this running tonight because this week is uh, ARM's... Let me pull this up, actually. Their AIoT Dev Summit, a.k.a. Um, AI with IoT. Let's pull this this bad boy up here. Window capture. <laughs> I apologize. I don't have my uh, system dialed in on this one at all yet, and so we're working on that. And this is going to be in Firefox. Oh boy. <laughs> I have literally no idea which of these windows it's going to be. So let's just uh, forget about that for now. Oh boy. Anyway, so it's <laughs> it's ARM's AIoT conference this week, and since this is an Atmel chip, the at SMD51 um, running in ARM Cortex architecture, I figured that we should do some AI on IoT here. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have Wi-Fi on it. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess it just keeps expecting me to say words. Um, as we will see, though, there's a few different examples that we can run without necessarily messing up uh, our lives by trying to get video to work when it's not going to work. So let's just go through some demo code that Adafruit has put out. First, first up, Hello World Arcade. Uh, there's a whole bunch of setup steps that you need to go through in order to get these demos up and running on your uh, Edge Badge, and I've linked to that in the description to this video. Uh, it is the link that says learn.adafruit.com slash TensorFlow Lite for Edge Badge Kick Quick Start. And the link there is for the overview page, but the second page, uh, the setup for compiling examples, covers all the stuff that you actually need to install and how to do that. It's a lot. Uh, it takes a lot to get this stuff up and running, um, but it does work with Arduino, which is incredibly exciting. I actually have been having more luck with this on this terrible Windows computer <laughs> that has no, no resources compared to the Mac that I usually use. Uh, so um, it's pretty good. This Hello World Arcade button, let's check that out. Or sketch, not button. <laughs> All of these take a long time to compile. So while that's running, I'm going to try and see if I can't get this window up for you. I'm a little bit paranoid about what's going to come up, though. <laughs> Oh, it's not that bad. Why is all this stuff... Hmm. It's definitely in Firefox. So let's grab this window. And we'll see. Firefox. Why is it just not... It's just straight up not showing up on my uh, window selection. It's very strange. We might have to go a little bit meta here for a minute. So since this is going to take a while to compile and stuff, I'm just going to give us the straight display capture, which is a little overwhelming, but it'll be okay. Okay, so display capture is coming up now. <laughs> and it's going to go into meta mode, and then here we have the actual window. Okay, here's the setup for compiling examples page. Um, install the latest ar desktop Arduino IDE. That is, I think, 1.8.10, 1.10.8. Uh, let's take a look. 
1.8.10. Uh, install the Adafruit SAMD board support package. That means that you're going to go into the preferences in the Arduino IDE and uh, put in a URL. We can actually pull that up right now. Preferences. And it's right here. It goes in the additional board manager URLs. Um, and then install all the Arcata libraries. There's a lot of them. <laughs> but I've done this like three times now, so I'm an expert, basically. And then there's three more libraries that you install. Uh, make sure that you don't pick the pre-compiled release version of the Arduino TensorFlow library. And then install Adafruit's TensorFlow Lite library. Um, a few of the, exam uh, the libraries that you're installing are Adafruit-specific ones, so be sure to look for those. And also for the speech demos, which I think are the most fun, then you're going to grab the Adafruit Zero PDM library. And this is actually uh, what got me choked up before. Uh, you can, in the Arduino IDE, see that there is, uh, under the examples, you can do the straight up Arduino TensorFlow Lite library, and that has a micro speech example. But also, if you scroll all the way down, there's the Adafruit Arcata library, which allows you to test some functions on the board. But then also, there's the Arduino ten or the Adafruit TensorFlow Lite library, which is where I found micro speech Arcata, which is the one that's the most exciting to me. All right, we're on the uploading stage. That's very exciting. Why are we getting this current UF2 thing? I don't know. But uh, let's go back to things being a little bit more normal. There we go. OK, so this is what the Hello World Arcata example looks like. It renders a sine wave, um, which is cool to look at, but in my opinion, kind of boring. But they give you a lot of information on how to take that further and uh, do your own special little sine wave magic, if you're into that. Um, if that sounds incredibly patronizing, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, next up, I'm not going to actually show this one because it is a bit, because uh, it takes so long for us to compile and upload stuff, but I want to tell you about it. So the Mandelbrot uh, example basically just renders a Mandelbrot fractal on your, um, your little pie badge screen, edge badge screen, and that looks really cool. <laughs> and it's kind of an awesome uh, demonstration of the computing power on board this board. Um, third, we have the Arcata Pi Badge test, which I think is pretty fun. I'm going to compile and upload this one now. Uh, another interesting thing about uploading stuff to this badge is that you have to make sure that you pick all the right stuff here. So you've got to go add the Adafruit SAMD boards and stuff. And um, this is under. Yeah, it's under Adafruit SAMD, 32 bits ARM Cortex M0 plus and something or other else. And it's called the Adafruit Pi Badge M4 Express SAMD 51. And then there's a bunch of other little settings that you've got to get down perfectly, pretty much. But it shows you that it's on the same page. So this is a really well-documented process. So it's set up for compiling examples on the TensorFlow Lite for Edge Badge Quick Start and the, yeah, down here, it gives you a screenshot, which I love, of all the different settings that you need. And there's a lot of them in order to successfully upload to your board. Do, do, do. And it's overclocking it, which is cool. There's the sine wave demo that we talked about. It's the Hello World demo of TensorFlow Lite. It has a simple mod. Go away. Ah, that must mean that it finished uploading. Yes. Good. Let's take a look at the camera again. Hello. <laughs> OK, cool. You can't see it super great, but there is, oh man, there's some text on here. Please focus. There we go. Hey, cool. All right, so it's telling us that Wi-Fi failed. It can't find the Wi-Fi. But uh, we're getting all these other readings. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to focus. <laughs> Uh, we've got a little ambient light reading. At the very least, you can kind of see that it goes down to single digits when I cover that sensor. <laughs> it 
You've got your little Game Boy four fa form factor as well with your like little D-pad and A and B buttons. There's the light, light sensor. Yeah. And um, you've also got accelerometer readings on here. You've got your NeoPixels scrolling through an RGB rainbow. Beautiful. It says Wi-Fi failed. This board does not have Wi-Fi on it, as far as I can tell. And um, it also got readings from different pins. It says D2 slash A8, 0.24 volts, and D3 slash A9, point, like, 16 to 20 volts. And um, I'm kind of curious what those correspond to, actually. Either they're existing sensors or not. And here's the at SAMD51, which Yes, you can see for a brief moment in a spot to mount a speaker on there. Uh, in the demo video that they have of working with this micro speech demo, they actually have it talk back. And when you say yes or no, it says yes or no back to you, which is super cool. Can I trick it into focusing? Ha <laughs> Oh, man. Challenges. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> when, you, when you hit it, it gives you a little coin noise, which is fantastic. Okay, cool. So that's the, which one was that? That was the Ada Arcada Pi Badge Test. Uh, and that is under examples, Adafruit TensorFlow Lite. Nope, I lied. Adafruit Arcada Library. Um, where is it? There we go, under full board tests, and then Arcada Pi Badge test. Huh. And then the last one we're going to do, this one is really worth waiting for. Although you already saw it, I'm going to make it upload again because this is what I want to be on the board for tomorrow. The nice thing about this is that it also came with a, um, a little LiPo and a, a piece of tape to hold it on. So it'll be hopefully able to run for most of the day, as is. You've got a full GPIO pin breakout on here. You've got little vias through it so you can see the backlighting, which actually is actually kind of cool. <laughs> and um, yeah, all kinds of cool stuff going on here. An I squared C port, which uh, looks like it would connect very well with a Grove connector. And then you've got D2 and D3 ports which are uh, three pins each, and those seem like they would be perfect for NeoPixels, <laughs> and that's probably why you've got uh, readings for D2 and D3 on there, showing probably how much voltage is coming out through them or going into them. Let's see how our micro-speech thing is coming on. It's still compiling, so let's look at a couple of more pages on here. We've got, there's a blog post from November 16th of, of trying out the Edge Badge with TensorFlow micro-speech demo. You can see Lady Ada doing the cool thing where like you make the thing work and it tells you whether you said yes or no. There's another blog post about a sort of recap of the Supercon wind weekend and uh, what sorts of projects people got up to. There is a TensorFlow uh, for mobile and IoT page that is linked from the Adafruit tutorial, the sine wave demo. Um, unfortunately, this page telling you how to upload UF2 files is uh, 404, but you can take a look at this stuff and check out the uh, TensorFlow Lite main documentation page, which I think is linked on the next page, customized wave demo. Yeah, this guy. Um, and that just takes you to this page, which is the TensorFlow documentation. Very cool. Um, <laughs> and then after you do that, you get to adjust your demo. I'm curious about that one, actually. I haven't tried it yet. What's the deal? Is it accelerometer based? Yeah, huh, cool. So you can use that to train and in for gestures using TensorFlow. That's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. But I think the coolest one for this application is, stop doing that, <laughs> is the, oh no. It's got a, a bit of a weird trackpad on this computer. The micro speech demo in the TensorFlow Lite for Edge Badge Quick Start Guide is what I just followed. You can download pre-compiled UF2 files 
that you can drag and drop onto your badge boot disk drive, which is how this shows up as a flash, um, a USB flash device. However, that's not really working for me on Windows. It shows up for a moment, as you just saw, it like kind of bogarts the screen for a second, and then it goes away, so I'm not able to use this process right now. And again, that unfortunately the instruction page for that is 404ing. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to write them. Uh, they're really cool about stuff like this, though. I'm sure they'll fix it pretty quick. And instead, you can always go straight through the Arduino IDE, go under Examples, Adafruit TensorFlow Lite, and then to MicroSpeech Arcada. And that's what I did here, and it works beautifully. Oh, yeah. Um... I'm not using a Pi badge with an external microphone, but there is are a couple of other versions of this kit that you might have that don't have the built-in MEMS microphone that I'm about to show you. Um, go away display. Okay, yeah. Um, right here, if you could see it uh, in focus, is a uh, MEMS or Microelectromechanical Systems microphone. It's a tiny little device. And um, it allows, you know, it's, it's built into the board. But if you were using um, an external microphone, or if you had a version of the board that didn't have that, then you would change the code up a little bit. And you upload that, and then we're able to do this thing again of where I yell at it and go, yes! 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 Hey! <laughs> no! That was a little too fast. I suspect it. No. 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 <laughs> this should be really fun at the conference. I'm going to have a good time. Hopefully I'll see you there. I'm sure we'll run into a bunch of cool nerds. I'm going to check and see if there's any questions or whatever before we wrap up here. Um, but in general, I should be getting some sleep so that I can be fresh for the conference. Let's see. Any Questions, comments. Andy says, can it run Game Boy games? Question mark. My assumption is that people would be able to emulate Game Boy games on here, but it doesn't have any built in. I'm not sure. I haven't looked that up, mostly because I suck at Tetris. And, <laughs> you know, uh, it's up to you. But uh, I have not seen such a thing yet. But I'm sure it's coming because nerds. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you, uh, your name was Andy, for commenting. And uh, I can't see your questions on YouTube Live, but I will surely answer them later. We'll see you around. Hack on. How do I work this computer?